going to start with coloring it in. And I have my colors in a special little uh, thing over here, little palette. So I don't have to keep digging for references or anything. I'm going to start with doing just kind of the skin. Wait for it to find a hole somewhere and then figure out where that hole is and then fill in again. And this is how I color digitally, not traditionally. Traditional is completely different, but digital is what I have today. All right, so we've colored in that. Let's add hair. Close out any gaps. these eyebrows. So I'm picking like the big chunk of area to color at a time. And any little details will be on a new layer within there. I will apply like a mask. So like the eyes will be on a different layer than the skin, but it will be attached to the skin. The blue of the hair will be on a different layer, but it will be attached to the blue. And I always do the hair and the skin up top, and then I do everything else below. So we have the gray. And then we're going to have the blue for the dress. Which I guess sometimes looks purple, but whatever. Um, <clears throat> now one thing that I do is I add a mild gradient. Uh, this is a clipping layer. You can do this in Photoshop, you can do this in Clip Studio Paint. Photoshop I think is like Control G. Um, so that means anything I draw is going to only go on the layer it's clipped to, so it's only going to go on this hair layer. But I'm going to add a general idea of where, whoa, what a nice soft brush please. Thank you. All right. This is kind of where shadows are going to be. This is where highlights are going to be. And then I'm going to drop that down to like there to where you can see it just barely. And I'm going to turn it off right now. And I'm going to do this one. Get a little up here, but mostly over here. I'll grab some white the face where our light's going to hit it and I'll drop it down really low. This is a completely optional step. I do it. I like the way it looks. I'll show you how it looks with and without later, but for now let me just kind of grab it and do it real quick. So I have two-tone hair, comes about halfway through, yeah, good enough. Uh, and I'm going to shade without showing it because I don't really need to show it at this point. I'm going to use a oh, blue. So the light's still coming from the same area. So we're going to do a lot of what I've done before. With the black and white, so we still have kind of the same thing going on. And this will be filled in, this will be filled in. And this will be filled in. Hmm. 
Yeah, I guess that's good. We're gonna fill all this in. And I picked blue because the hair has kind of got a reddish tone. So when I do an overlay, which is how I do my, well, I actually do a linear burn, but when you do that with an opposing color, contrasting color, it shows up better. Well, it's like a linear burn, I got like that. We're gonna lower the opacity a little bit to about there, I guess. We can bring in the blue, you'll see where the blue is. And if we brought in this, you can kind of see how that's changing it and gives it that nice little roundness. But we're not adding that just yet. Let's add some highlights. Just some doop doops. Doop doop. Doop doop. Doop 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 doop. Doop. Okay, good enough. Sometimes I might go an overlay to make it lighter so it doesn't stand out too much. Sometimes I want it to stand out and I'll do an add glow and then I might even grab my smooth brush and pull it down a little bit so you kind of get this like weird glow go on because you're smoothing out the edges, blurring it into the other one. So. Yeah, you know, whatever. Just have whatever you feel like, whenever you feel like. Still kind of like that one. So I'm going to go with that one for today. Lower, to, lower just a little bit. So you just get a little white. Mostly the other color. We can add that if we want, but I'm going to wait. Alright, now we're going to do the eyes and the mouth and all that other shit. So, teeth, white. Grab the skin tone, a little reddish for the tongue, a little darker for the back of the cheek. Go back to the white for the eyes. Color the shit in. Boop. Grab my eye color. Are they? Oh, I'm on white. There we go. And at this point, I'm just going to kind of color in the eyes how I want them to view. And I don't overly do the eyes. A lot of people do. Uh, anime is known to have overly done eyes. But I like them a little simpler. So I just grab the smooth watercolor brush and I will grab the center and push the outsides up. I'm pushing the outsides up and pulling the center. Pull the center down, push the surrounding up center down and they're surrounding up. And grab a little bit of a darker color. I do the pupil and then I kind of do I don't know where a shadow is going to be. I don't always. Sometimes I do. And I pull that down into this line that we started going around. up some of this outside because it's starting to blur out into where it's not supposed to be. This one outside the line I didn't even notice. And one last thing I do is I grab a color, slightly different color, maybe let's do green. Grab a, the airbrush and a little little tip. And just give it a little glow following the inner and the outer. Just like that. You can even just go a little white in there too if you really wanted to. Good enough, whatever. Uh, since we're here, we're gonna add a little bit of a lip color. I don't really have a designated lip color, but maybe this will be alright. Just a little on the lower lip. Mm. 
with that, I guess. Let me just pull it up with the eraser. Not eraser, sm uh, smooth watercolor. Now I grab the layer between the skin, well, between where I did this, like, light and dark, and all this, and I'm going to add some blush. So I take a crazy reddish color, and I highlight some cheekbones. I do the tips of the ears. I might do, like, the throat. If the shoulders were exposed, I'd do the shoulders, maybe a little bit on the collarbone. Maybe a little on the chin. I don't know. Whatever you want. Nose. Sure. Why not? Uh, I do do the lanyard burn and then I kind of like drop it down really low. So it's just there. It's just barely there. You can kind of see it a little bit. And if I really want to, I'll grab the smooth. I'll just kind of like pull it up. Blend it in a little bit better. Huh. Yeah. That's a thing. But I'm going to remove this, and I'm going to remove the eye. Well, yeah, I'm going to remove the eyes. Uh, new layer clipped to the skin. I'm going to grab this fuchsia color because I like it. And I'm going to do shadows now. So we have this coming down, and we have this little doopy thing. Maybe a little shadow for me. Brow. Shadow would be a lot smaller over here. light coming down. I'm going to add a shadow in the crease and on the eye. The crease. little shadow under the brow. Maybe a little in this corner. There we go. Over there. Shadow from the inside of the mouth. A little from there. We would get the chin again. Let's fill some of this in. Boop a boop. Grab this ear. This part of that ear. That's good. We're gonna bam. Then your burn. Don't actually need to drop it down any. I like it about that dark. Maybe a little later. Just because of the colors we're working with. And I grab this smooth watercolor and I just kind of smooth out some of these edges. Make it a little softer. Softer where light would kind of hit it and gradiate it a little bit. There we go. And then we can add the blush in the eyes back. And then if we want we can even add this back in. But we'll add that all in later. So you can see it all later. All right, now we'll do this down here, and we're going to do that in this red-ish color. Give it like a little, yeah, almost no effort in that at all because, again, I'm lazy and whatever. But I do need to get this here because the head would apply a little bit of a shadow. So that's coming out a little more purpley than I want, so I'm going to go with a gray. Smooth up some of this. And if I find it's too dark, but I want like some of it dark and not all of it is dark, I might just take an eraser, grab a soft eraser, soft eraser, and then just kind of like gently tap it on some areas. Just a little more. Uh, and since most Coca-Holos don't have like a high shine, I don't usually add it. I'm going to do blue for this so I can see it. might change it after. If I'm working with whites, I might color the white like a green or something. 
just so I can see it and then change it after. Kind of smoothing this out a little bit and even pulling away some color from the edges uh, because you'd probably get light coming from the back side. All right so this is what it looks like. Uh, let's add these gradient things it's doing. Let's add some whites which, if I'm doing a full outfit, you'd get a lot more whites. Mm, whatever. I have like a light boop boop on the cheeks. That'd be it. Uh, now I'm going to use this, which is a lock transparency button. Uh, I think all of them have a version of this one way or another. I'm going to grab this deep brown and I'm going to just change the color outline so it's brown. And then I'm going to grab like a dark blue and anywhere there is a blue color I'm going to outline it with this blue. I'm just scribbling over it. Locking transparency means you're only going to get what's on it later. Which is why I have everything on different layers. I'm gonna grab this, do a dark blue for this dress, or black for the gray. And a black for the eyes. And if I really wanted to, I might even go a little lighter on the skin uh, outline. Mind you, I'm doing this really quick, but this is generally how I do it. I just usually take a lot more time to. <laughs> So that's that. Uh, there is uh, one last thing I do, which is I add color reflections onto each part. So we're working with the hair. Grab a skin tone and go over to my soft airbrush. And then just kind of airbrush some of the skin tone color there. And grab a little blue and kind of there, a little brown kind of blend there. And then I'm going to drop this down to about 35%. And I'm going to do this for every color section I have. So I'm going to grab some brown, get it on the skin, get some black here, some blue, we have blue here, blue here, and down here. Ramp. And then I'm just going to drop it down really well. So it's like almost not even noticeable, but there is just enough to where you do notice it. But you would know, really. Get some of those glow of that. The rest of this. Drop it down. And then, boop, boop. Boop. All right, and this is um, this is just because color reflects off of color. And that would be how I would kind of finish the piece. Mm 
and just pull it off the page a little bit. Yeah, whatever. That's good enough for that. Bam. Picture is laid on. Um, so this is roughly how I do my arts. Whether it be um, color or, you know, black and white. You get the general do you get the general idea boop 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 uh i do prefer working in black and white i just really like working with the dark but colors can be fun too and yeah so that's it for this. This was kind of long. I might divide this into a couple of episodes. But if you enjoyed it, uh, let me know if you want to see more from me. Uh, please subscribe and do all that YouTube shit. And if you decide to try to follow my stupid tutorial <laughs> on how to draw, then show me down below in the comments. Send me a link. I'd love to see it. And I'll see you all later.